Good afternoon. We are out spring toothing with our three breed horse team. We have a Pertron, a Suffolk, and a Belgian team here today. We did some disc some harrowing this morning and we're back at it this afternoon. I cuffed up. Cuffed up. Oh. I just want to adjust Bill's check rein here, her short line. I cuffed up. So we have a few changes we want to make here today. Um, well, not today, but a few changes I've decided to make. Um, I generally was planning on planting this to oats, but also grass seed. So this would be a, a, a permanent hay field for, for years to come. And, uh, but I have decided that this fall, I am planning on doing some tiling in this field. Now to do tiling, you generally, the best way to do it is to get somebody that does tiling with the machine that kind of plows the tile into the ground and has lasers and it gets it in the right depth and the right angle so it drains off properly. And uh, that may be the way I do it if I can find somebody to come do it that way. There's, there's a, a couple outfits in our area that do do that type of tiling, but they generally prefer going on to the bigger properties um, and to come in here on a small property like this, you know, small acreage, they're not so keen on doing it. I'm not saying they won't, but they aren't that keen on doing it that way. I have a, a guy that has an excavator that does quite a lot of tiling. He's, he's done a lot of tiling. I might get him to do it instead be, because that's just an option. Um, so, so he's supposed to come look at the job and we'll decide what we'll do. But anyways, it won't be till fall that I do that. Um, I've, because of that, I have decided that I'm not going to put grass seed in with the oats. I'm just going to plant straight oats. And then in the summertime, after it's matured, I'll do one of two things. I will either hire somebody to combine it or maybe even have the Amish come and do it, uh, sell it to them and make a deal with them or get some of the oats, something. And we'll just see what happens as far as that goes. If for some reason, the, it doesn't it doesn't make a good crop for, for grain and or I can't get anyone to do it then I'll have to um, cut it for hay now when I say cut it for hay more than likely it would be brown baling it and wrapping it so it would be wet and that makes great feed for the cows not good feed for the horses but great feed for the cows and so I could easily have that out there for an option the reason I don't want to put in grass seed and spend the extra money to put the grass seed in is because if we tile this, I'm going to have to plow it back up to smooth out all the spots where the tile goes. And it's a lot of work and I'm not really looking forward to doing it that way. So that's why I just want to do a, a portion of it at a time. And with the excavator, I'm more apt to be able to just do a smaller portion than with the big rig. So that's the plan. The plus about all this is since I'm just going to put oats here, I don't need this soil 
perfectly smooth. I don't need it that, that uh, you know, it, it doesn't have to be that good for oats. Um, I, even now, it's, it's good enough to plant. There was just a couple spots I kind of wanted to hit one more time before I do plant, um, kind of level out a little bit better. But uh, also, when I do my seeding, I usually run my cultipacker with the, I usually hitch it behind the spring tooth and drag that also. I can't remember now if I hitch it behind the cart and then hitch the spring tooth behind or vice versa. But anyways, also when I, when I put, when I use the grain drill and plant, I'll put the cultipacker behind that. And I'm not even going to bother doing all that because I just don't need to. It's not that important for just straight oats. So I'm just going to do a, a few spots that I want to hit and then I'm going to go back, get the grain drill ready to go. And I've decided I want to plant with all three of these horses just because, uh, well, we all three of them need work and Baron is just a colt. And so um, it'll work fine using three. I've never used three before, before in the grain drill. I just usually use the two. I, actually, Ken and, and Buck have been my two general planters. They've planted for years. And so, but today I'm going to go with all three. I am very much looking forward to trying to get some tiling done because if I could get this field as dry and nice as it is on the upper part of this field so I can get onto it early in the spring, that would be so nice. There's so many spots down below that are just so wet that um, I tend to get on it probably earlier than I should. But if I wait too long, the oats don't do good. Um, oats are a cool weather crop. And so the sooner that they're planted, the better the crop does. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a big benefit to have the um, field drained. So we'll see what happens there. So I'll go around and hit those couple more high spots that I, or spots I want to hit, and then we'll go back to the barn. Brenda just asked me if, if uh, or asked question whether or not there might be some people that don't even know what tiling is. They don't even know what I'm talking about and that could be true. So tiling is just to, it's, it's a plastic, like a plastic culvert piping that goes usually around three feet deep underneath the ground in, in rows of anywhere from 25 feet to 50 feet apart. And it allows the water to seep down into those plastic pipes that have holes in them. And then they continue in the pipes off the field into a ditch usually and, and carries the water away to a, a load, lower destination. And so that's what we're planning on doing. I'm curious, you guys that have done tiling before, um, love to know how much it's helped your farms you know has it made a huge huge difference was it worth the money it's a tremendous amount of money in putting tiling in and uh i i i'm getting old in my farming career i guess you could say but so i guess really i'm doing it for the next generation but uh i've still got a few good years left i hope and uh i would love to be able to do it even if it is going to benefit the next generation more than myself. We have a couple of spots that are still quite wet. I got another question for you guys too. Um, I'm confident that this soil is plenty good enough for oats, but uh, for you guys that have planted a lot of oats and grains, do you think you need a, a better seed bed than this or, or would this suit you guys perfectly fine also? So 
there's so many more farmers out there that actually have a lot more experience than I in farming because my farming enterprises are pretty small so I don't really have a lot of lot to draw from but we'll keep at it and then hopefully this afternoon later we can play at the field feel that cheek 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 Step a little bit. Cast it.
Ahí está. I, I am. I'm in my field right now, but um, where are you? Well, 
Oh, that would be fine. I'm planting oats, but I can actually come in and tie the horses in uh, how, long, how many minutes before you get here. Perfect. Oh, I'll, I'll be back at the barn. Yep, bye. That's Urban's son. Oh. So, let me go around one more time and film it. Yeah, while well, I'm getting tired. This is hard. Never heard of such a thing. Huh? Never heard of such a thing. I'm gonna stand on here. Again. Well, stand on it, by all means. It's a good view. But I don't want to make it harder for the horses. Oh, brother. A pair of Shetlands could handle this. You done? I am done. Sweet. So, April 14th today. It's an early one for us. 
I guess. It's wonderful to have it this dry. The dust is flying. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's surprising though, also. There's still some bad holes in there. I saw that. Oh. Anyways, we are done. Let's put them away and feed the horses. I hope you guys have a great day. Take care. Time.